And let us also know Him as the resurrected Christ. Because we need to be restored, Lord God, to our vision. And then let us receive the power, Lord God, so that we truly are your disciples dishing out the good things from you, pushing it out to the people, Lord God, and not just receiving from you, but we become channels of your goodness. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we, are, we can be that. It is the very thing that you called us to be, Lord God, disciples. Father, we thank you for making it easy for us today. It's a global call with a local solution. It is so big. It's so overwhelming. But in your revelation, it's easy. One step at a time. Start here and right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you have called us higher. Not just believers, but come up higher and be disciples. Disciples get to build the towers. They get to be to fight like kings. Hallelujah. They are not way, they are not blown to and fro, but they stand st- strong. They build their houses on the rock. They are not blown away. Brothers and sisters, the times, difficult times are coming. And this is the time when discipleship is required. Where you are able to stand and say, yes, Lord. I'm emulating, I'm following. I'm being part of the whole thing. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last week, Pastor Mike showed you the 12, 12 men and 12 women. That's just modeling. That's just the beginning. One day, and very soon, you'll find yourself with your own 12. And that 12 will create another 12. And that multiplication process will eventually win the world. Through a series of encounter, being part of a 12 and creating your 12, that thing being repeated, and then the global vision is attained. Discipleship. Magpasakop. Thank you, Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we thank you that is the path, the ancient path that you have laid down. And it's a path that is good. And it's a path of rest. Father, we choose to walk in that. Even as we plan our way, Lord God, towards this encounter that's happening on the 25th, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We come against any impediments that the enemy is throwing in our way, whether financial, whether responsibility, relationship in Jesus' name. Lord God, just like you said, you have to give up all this so that you become my followers. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you're merciful in your understanding. We pray, Father God, that you just set them aside in Jesus' name. Work all things together for those who love you, Lord God, so that we might encounter you, Lord God, without anything behind our heads, our backs, Lord God, like a knowing thing, putting their teeth, Lord God, so that we cannot understand you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As the worship team comes, Father, we just set our eyes and our hearts upon you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for this powerful word today, Lord Jesus. We need you, Father God. We don't know how to do this alone, Lord Jesus. We don't know how to do this in our own mind, in our own strength. We need your guidance, Lord. We need your Holy Spirit, Lord God. 
Father, even today, Lord, we were praying for certain people, Lord God, to come today. Some of them did not make it here today, Lord God. So, Father, right now, Lord, we stand in the gap, Lord God. And we pray against the plan of the enemy, Lord God. Father, as we are moving forward, Lord, in, the, in 2016, Lord God, to answer the call of you becoming your disciples, Lord Jesus. Father, the enemy is also working overtime, Lord God. So, Father, right now, Lord, we bind the works of the enemy, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord. Fear, cast it away in the mighty name of Jesus. And put forth your boldness, Father God, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Worry, Lord God, we bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. And put forth your peace, Lord God, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, relational issues, Lord God. So, Father, right now, Lord, we pray that you bind that, Lord God. And release your peace and restoration between husband and wife, between father and son, between mother and daughter, Lord God, between parents and their children, between siblings, Lord Jesus. Father, unite the family core, Lord God. Because in the family, Lord, everything starts in the family, Lord Jesus. That is our closest neighbor, our spouse, our children, Lord God, even our extended family. Father, protect the family unit, Lord God, because the enemy is starting, Lord God, has been uh, working overtime to break it. But Father, nothing can destroy what you have planned, Lord God. Your plan of salvation was given at the beginning of the world, Lord God. It was revealed through your Son, Jesus Christ. And Father, today, we are answering the call to be your hands and your feet, Lord God, to go forth, Lord Jesus, and make disciples of all nations, Lord God. And it starts with us. It starts with our family, our neighborhood, our workplace, our school. Father, equip us in the mighty name of Jesus. Guide us through the power of your Holy Spirit. As we surrender all our plans, our, our will, Lord God, upon your throne, that your will be done, Father, on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Let's worship Him today. This is a new day. This is a new day. 